Hello, welcome back to my channel. There are two things that I know to be true about myself that I do not want to be true. And those two things are, I am happiest and most productive when A, my work surface does not look like this. There's just so much junk everywhere in the office and I need to clean it up today. I am happiest in a clean house. And as a messy person who will defend my untidiness to the ends of the earth, I hate that that's true, but it's true. And the second thing is, um, I am also definitely more productive when I'm wearing makeup. And so you are going to keep me company while I get ready for the day. One of the things, and I will try to remember to link everything and list everything below because I'm not going to remember to go everything, go through everything as I'm getting ready. I just want to kind of chat. Um, one of the things that I actually do need to do today is organize all of my makeup because on Sunday I'm going to show you my newest makeup storage situation because I'm so happy with it and it kind of it reminds me of like the old school acrylic I mean it is acrylic but it reminds me of the old school acrylic everyone was obsessed with storage storage solution but it feels new it fits really nicely in the space that I put it. Oh no. That facial oil did not play well with um, the moisturiser I put on this morning. It was kind of getting, you know, like peeling off and not. <sighs> that is a shame. Okay, let's try this again. Um, so as I was saying, I um, have now got a makeup storage. Well, I've got my makeup storage that's like behind me in the big drawers and stuff. But my day-to-day -day stuff... Um, I have it in a little acrylic unit next to me and um, it's so fit for purpose, it's crazy. I got the unit from Costco. Um, it fits really nicely next to me without taking up a ton of space. And uh, yeah, I just kind of want to share what my 2022 kind of daily makeup situation is looking like because it probably also speaks to some of my absolute favourite things if you missed my end of year best of products. What else? What else? Maybe a little bit of hydrating mist because I'm feeling the need today. Totally fallen back in love with um, anything glowy and highlighty. The Glow Cherie from L'Oreal. I talked about this last year, year before. I don't know. But I love it. Um, I mean, I could wear this with just like some concealer and just kind of put it here, everywhere I want to glow. Just a little bit of concealer for evening everything out. I don't put it around here, but everywhere else. It's beautiful. But I will say about this product, um, if you've got sensitive skin or your skin is not feeling 100%, it might not be for you because there's a lot of alcohol in there and it can sting a little if my skin is not 100%. Um, and I know a couple of other people have said that, but it's really good stuff all the same. I just want to do something really light today. Nothing too crazy. No, oh, it's just not doing it for me. I need brighter. Also, do you love my dungarees? They were from Tesco. If you watched my no buy, low buy, here's what happened. I wasn't doing a no buy because it just wasn't. Um, but I was banning myself from spending uh, in supermarkets, obviously beyond food. Um, in supermarkets and on Amazon. And here's what happened. Here is always what happens when I do any kind of like, you can't do this, or um, if I say I've got to do something every single day, the first day I don't do it, that's basically the end. Because I am like a, I'm a collector. And if I miss a day of something, or if I break my promise, then I can't just kind of continue on. That's it. I know I'm not going to stick with it. And so yesterday, I, I love that, just kind of natural. It looks a little bit red still on the camera, but also my hair is full of dry shampoo. Um, so yesterday, I um, had the pergola finished in our garden. I found an amazing deal. Someone local uh, was doing a particularly good price for January, because obviously uh, people who do gardens and stuff don't, I imagine, get a tremendous amount of work in January. Um, but from what I can glean, he is a, he's got a reasonably, he, he is reasonably good price is what I want to say. His pricing structure is, um, is particularly cost effective. 
so I found someone who would do it and I'm really, really happy with him. Um, and we were talking about hanging the swing that I bought because I'm going to have my American porch dreams realised with this thing. Um, and I've bought a porch swing. I've painted it. Oh, I'm so excited. Honest to God, I'm going to be living my best 2022 life in this porch swing. Um, but I bought something. I'd obviously seen all these swing hanging kits and stuff online. And Google tells me, Amazon's the place, Amazon's the place. And I'm thinking, no, I can't buy it from Amazon. I'm not buying it from Amazon. And so I just looked everywhere, couldn't find anything specific. Looked for other alternatives. I went to B&Q and bought something that I thought was the right thing. Mm. Wasn't really the right thing. Um, and so basically the guy said, you need to order this. It's from Amazon. I ordered it from Amazon. I said in my vlog yesterday, <sighs> I've broken my mm. no buyer Amazon had to be done because I couldn't get this thing anywhere else but deep inside myself I knew it wasn't just that was it because I'd seen these dungarees in Tesco in December and they'd been on my mind and I'd been thinking if they're still there in February you can have them and then I broke my no buy to Amazon I can't open this very well with my nails on I'm getting my new nails tomorrow and I'm tempted to go um gel although I just I know they're going to ping off immediately so we'll see we'll see but the thick is the thickness of acrylics I don't like but I do like how hard wearing they are because I'm quite uh quite an uh kind of person um so yeah I told myself I could have the dungarees if they were still there and then yesterday when I broke my Amazon slash supermarket no buy I knew the dungarees would be mine so yeah long story short they're from Tesco, they're 20 pounds, do you like them? Obviously full length. I love them. Um, in the back of my mind I was actually thinking, um, I, I'll probably wear them for gardening and for painting jobs, for crafting and such, because I have got paint on the majority of my clothes in the last year. Um, but then I put them on and I was like, but I want to keep them forever. And I don't want to get paint on them, so I get paint on my good clothes instead. But I love them. I've always wanted dungarees. What is it about dungarees? Oh my god, my hair is literally everywhere. Um, I've been listening to my audiobook this morning. Love. She, I mean, I've spoken about this before, but if you are in the book club, we are listening to, or rather if you're not in the book club, we're listening to Shonda Rhimes' Year of Yes, um, which is a book written by the woman who created Grey's Anatomy Scandal. How to Get Away with Murder and such a very interesting woman anyway and she's had a very interesting life and um, the whole thing is basically how saying yes to things instead of uh, hiding herself away and always assuming she didn't have time for things um, changed her life in a year and that's like all facets of her life it's so so interesting um, I, I am re-listening now for probably the 20th time and I will say she does talk a lot about motherhood because I did say at the beginning, you know, I think it's for everyone. I do think it's for everyone. She's speaking, everything she says can be taken, you know, and applied elsewhere in your life if that's not relevant to you. But at least in the first part of the book, she does talk a lot about motherhood and how um, difficult it is to balance that with saying yes to all of the many opportunities that she might have through her professional uh, successes and stuff. But even if you don't have children, I just think it's such a fantastic book. I come back to it time and time again when I feel like I just need a little bit of a refresher because although it is a bit self-helpy, she's very realistic. So for example, um, she talks about, you know, having it all. And again, that can be applied to wherever you want to apply it to in your life. It doesn't have to be children, but she basically says if she's succeeding in one area of her life, she's definitely failing in the other. But she's, it's still worth it because she still wants to do all of the things. Um, it's not, you don't kind of want to roll your eyes at her. And if you want to um, read along with us, it will be the last Sunday of January that we'll do a live and uh, discuss the book, which I'm really excited about. And I'm still open for suggestion for the February book because I'd quite like to continue on with the um, kind of self-development. I'd quite like to listen 
or rather read, listen to, uh, Atomic Habits. But I appreciate that not everybody's into that kind of thing and I really want to keep it varied. So if anyone's got any suggestions for um, maybe a book, like a novel or something fiction related, then let me know. Although maybe I could delve... Oh! <gasps> Oh, I have a fact. I mean, does it count? Can we keep just listening to books I've listened to before? Is that okay? Because I do have a couple of stellar suggestions and I almost would like us all to have listened to my favourite books before we get into some new ones. Is that weird? Probably. Probably is, yes. Um, I want to do some... I know I got one out, but where is it? I want to do some cream blush. I'm sure I saw it, but it's disappeared. These are the inserts, by the way. Doesn't exist. Does not exist. What is happening? I know, I know I had it a minute ago. I did, I did. I saw it in here. I'm losing my mind. Um no, it's Vanished forever. It was right in front of me the whole time. Of course it was. Of course it was. Um, so I have had some... Ooh, that is a lot. Um, I have had some absolutely fantastic feedback so far on my new um, video kind of journey, if we want to call it that. I don't know what I want to call it. But basically, the, the new kind of videos that I've been making... Um, as I said at the time, and as I've said a few times since in vlogs and on Instagram and things, um, I understand it's not going to be for everyone, but that is my thing for 2022, is just do the stuff that I want to do, talk about the stuff that I want to talk about, and I have been so pleasantly surprised by how many of you um, were kind of ready for that and want to come along with me in that kind of content. Um, I'm just kind of over the same old, same old, you know? I also feel like I'm in such a strange phase of life for this online community because I did have children a little bit earlier than your average. Um, it feels as though people my age on YouTube that are doing this, I mean, they're few and far between anyway because most are very, very young, but I think most would be kind of mommy vloggers or at very least in that phase of life they're like getting married having children yada yada and I feel like the phase I'm of life I'm in is more like 45 than 35 so that also puts me in like a weird box in terms of um what content the world thinks I should be making and you know I just don't care anymore I bought this brow styling soap right because I've been growing out my eyebrows with this um, rapid brow, which is absolutely fantastic. And I got this. I don't really know what I'm supposed to put on it, but I'm going to use this as I just need to liquid it up a little bit. And it came with a little spoolie and I'm a little bit in love, honestly. Um, I'm not 100% sure how I'm supposed to be using it. I'm completely making this up. I know about soap brows, but at the same time, I know absolutely nothing about soap brows because haven't watched any videos about them. I just know that they're a thing. And so I am absolutely making this up. Maybe I'll watch a video. Maybe I won't. But I don't doubt that one of you watching this will be like, okay, here's how you do it. And then I won't have to watch the video. But I'm quite enjoying it because it's just oomphing up a little bit especially this part um, where I just don't seem to be able to grow that much brow, which is annoying. And also where I've had my eyebrows microbladed, I'm basically trying to kind of cover that up because they're, they've been, they're microbladed all over, but this part, I don't actually have any hair. So I'm kind of trying to brush my brow hairs up over that to cover the fading microblading. And I'd like to get to a stage where I don't need to have that done and I can actually just deal with my own brow hairs as they are because I'm really really impressed by how effective the rapid brow has been I have used it before but this time around I'm like this is great I could do with tinting my brow so I haven't done that in a very long time but I'm maybe 
four or five months into the rapid brown. After six, I'll probably go and have them actually shaped. But I'm enjoying this. This I got um, <clears throat> from Amazon. Um, IBCCCNDC is apparently the brand of this. So there you go. If you were wondering, I was about to put mascara on and then I'm like, I already put it on. Maybe it needs a little bit more. Maybe that's what's happening. I don't want to get to need a little bit more at all. Um, this is a nightmare if I'm wearing black jeans, which I kind of am. A little bit of loose powder will absolutely go well over your black jeans. So yeah, 2022 is going to be a year of, I'm calling it authenticity. But as I also did say, that's not to say I haven't always been authentic. It's more to say I'm kind of reclaiming what, who I am on the internet particularly and caring less about who I think people want me to be. And I just can't tell you how much your comments and um, Instagram DMs and stuff have meant because it really, I was nervous. I thought, you know, this could be it for the beauty stuff because I'm really enjoying the vlogs. I'll continue to do that. But I don't know if people will want me to do a mix of like chatty, really what does she want to talk about kind of content. Um, I'll do, you know, beauty stuff as and when I'm feeling like it, like now. But I don't want to have to make three beauty videos a week. I don't want to have to do shopping videos. I'm going to still do them, but when I want. I don't want to feel forced because I think it feels forced. Um, and I was kind of ready to be like, well, you know, if if that's the case, then we move into just vlogs and just chatty videos and I'll throw in some other content as and when I'm feeling like it. Um, but so far, the response has been fantastic, so thank you. I'm currently, I'm currently mixing up two of these matte inks from Maybelline, but I'm mixing them on my lips, as you do. I like it, but it's a bit, bit blah, isn't it? Is it a bit blah? I think it is. Try this one. No, it's just not doing it for me. I need brighter. This is the winner. I don't even know if they still make these. The MUA Super Stylo in first class. I really, really love these. I hope they do still make them. But I have a feeling, have a feeling that they do not. Just put my hair down and then I was like, do you know what? I feel like the bright lip was because my hair was up and I think I needed like something bold and if I put my hair down, then I wish I'd left my lips alone and I'd just done those like beigey nude ones. I might be too close to it at this point. Thank you for keeping me company while I got ready. I am gonna be sharing with you my kind of, not daily, but my go-to makeup. I'm not going into these makeup drawers very regularly, maybe once a week maximum. Most of the makeup that I'm using on a regular basis is here. So we could call it a shop my stash because then once a month throughout 2022, I'm gonna try and switch this out so that I'm using more of what I've got um, and shopping less. Because as I told you in my shopping video or my no buy, low buy video, makeup is not something that I'm like, oh, I must have a new whatever. Lip liner weirdly has been a thing recently. In the last few years, I would say lip liner is the thing that I'm always, I can never quite find the right colour lip liner. That has been a real issue for me. Um, but other than that, I know I have a lot of stuff. I haven't decluttered um, to the point of, well, I've only got what I need and I need to continue to buy. There are certain things that I need to restock, of course, but for the most part, I do have enough that really I shouldn't need to be buying very much more. And I've realised that as a makeup channel, or as someone who was predominantly talking about makeup stuff, I was, it didn't work to not buy new things. I had to have new stuff. You wanted to see, and I will still do that from time to time. But taking that out of the equation a little bit means that I can talk about stuff that I've had for a long time, talk about makeup looks rather than makeup specific items. And I can encourage you to use what you have, because I can keep doing that without constantly need, needing new things to review. Do you know what I mean? So um, I'm hoping that that will have an impact on my personal collection, the way that I use my makeup too. But I will keep you posted and look out for that video on Sunday. If you haven't already as well, I did do a video about vision boards. And um, if you are super, super, not anti vision board, because that really might not be for you. But if you are really on the fence and you're like, mm, don't really know how that works, not sure I believe in all of that nonsense, 
watch that video because I think that even if you don't think you could be pushed to the magical side, um, you could get something from it. I think it's something that is useful for everyone and I'm not gonna harp on about the law of attraction and the magic of it all because I know that's not for everyone, but I do think there are elements of it that can be implemented in regular life even if you're a non-believer. So go and check that out because I think it's really, really useful for all of us to have that kind of thing in our lives, especially at the beginning of the year. Thank you.